Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about product cultivation and secondary agriculture. So I am going to cover the topic, the thermal properties as well as the application of engineering properties in agricultural units. So which is the agricultural foods. So I am going to tell about a small intro about the thermal properties. So the thermal properties are nothing but the specific heat, thermal conductivity, thermal diffusivity enthalpy and surface heat transfer emissivity of heat from the agricultural food products uh, so these are the important properties we must need to know know about the agricultural food products so that we can be able to development of any thermal processing systems for them so these thermal properties which may also include the heating cooling freezing drying and the different other properties of the agricultural product so the sum um, these are the major properties we must need to know but there are some other um, wait a minute um, but there are some other thermal properties so which are something like melting or freezing and the uh, latent heat and the uh, absorption heat and respiration uh, respiration of heat by these agricultural food products and the coefficient of thermal expansion or some other thermal properties which are um, also need to be taken into consider but not as much as important for the heat transfer applications like i explained that in uh, above uh, lines so uh, first we can able to know about the specific heat so specific heat is nothing but the amount of heat added or removed from the 1 kg of substance to change the temperature by 1 degree centigrade of the particular food material is said to be known as the specific heat so the specific heat calculating unit is said to be known as dsc which is nothing but a yeah, differential scanning calorimeter so it is used to measure the specific heat of a particular product and the other thing now we are going to see is thermal conductivity so we can able to um, give the formula of thermal conductivity is equal to q is equal to k e into a into difference in temperature divided by difference in um, thickness so it is the uh, formula for thermal conductivity so while seeing about thermal conductivity it is nothing but the rate of heat flow through unit thickness of material per unit area normal to the direction of heat flow and per unit time of the unit temperature difference so it is said to be known as thermal conductivity so this thermal conductivity has the ability to measure the conduct uh, material for conductive heat so they can i have already told you the formulas uh, expansion of the formula is where q is equal to rate of heat transfer so it is the thermal conductivity you know, symbol and a is equal to area of heat transfer and t is equal to temperature difference difference in the direction of heat flow as well as x is equal to thickness of the wall divided by surface so k is equal to thermal conductiveness of the particular material so, which is a constant one so these are the thermal uh, conductive properties we must need to know and uh, another thing is the thermal diffusivity so it is a uh, calculation which is used to divide the thermal conductivity with the specific product of heat as well as mass density so the formula is d is equal to k by cp into psi so it is not p uh, because we can't able to put that uh, symbol in the slide so i just uh, yeah same resemblance uh, alphabet i kept the same resemblance alphabet so which so the thermal diffusivity formula is equal to t is equal to k by cp bar p so t is equal to thermal diffusivity which is the measuring unit and k is equal to thermal conductivity p is equal to mass density and cp is equal to specific heat so it is mainly used for calculating the thermal conductiveness of the pro product with the specific heat and mass density and uh, the next thing so up to now what what are the important thermal properties we must need to know was explained and now we can able to see the application of the engineering properties with biological matter so while seeing about the application there are various engineering properties like physical friction aerodynamic thermal optical electrical and uh, some other post harvest handling and processing storage or uh, some of the engineering properties we must need to know about the consumers perception of food quality and food safety are also recommended in the recommended and maintained in the engineering properties of biological material study so uh, that's how the different materials uh, like equipments are said to be created by uh, with these engineering properties and uh, the next uh, while before seeing about them 
so we also includes this is a physical property so physical property is nothing but the characteristic nature of the particular food material or the agricultural product so it all uh, the important physical properties we must need to take in consideration or size shape uh, as well as volume and thousand gram weight if it is in seeds and density and porosity of the grains are also the necessary important physical properties so which are said to be design um, greater for the design of separation handling and storing and drying system of these agricultural products so the function of many type of machines is influenced distinctly by size and shape of food portion so it's how the grade as well as quality of fruits are said to be maintained and the size and shape or for insistence important in their autostatic separation from undesirable material and in the development size and grading are said to be done in physical properties and uh, the other is frictional properties so it is mainly composed of angle of repose of the particular material and the coefficient of friction as important for design equipment for solid flow as well as solid structures and the angle of internal friction between seed and wall are said to be made so that the perception of seed pressure on wall can also be calculated so these frictional properties are mainly play an important low um, role in loads and unloads which is the transfer of goods and storage facilities or uh, equipments are said to be created once with the physical uh, frictional properties of the goods as well as the storage equipments are said to be um, proper one so that there is no damage is said to be occurred so the frictional loss is said to be one of the factor which can be overcome by providing additional power to the machine so the coefficient of friction to the agriculture process uh, material is always necessary one and the other thing is aero and hydrodynamic properties so the aero and hydrodynamic properties like thermal velocity and drag coefficient of agriculture products are said to be an important and required one for the design of air or hydro convey system to the separation equipment so already we have seen it as the thermal velocity so it is nothing but the floating of the particular material in the pressure of air so but while seeing about in clear in air and hydrodynamic properties these are the physical properties of density shape or also required in calculating the terminal velocity as well as drag coefficient of the agricultural produce in air and hydrodynamic properties so the fluidation velocity of granular material and setting velocity are calculated by um, placing these agriculture bodies in the viscous fluid these properties are measured and the next is the resistance of grain bed to air flow so which is also a uh, measuring one for air and hydrodynamic property so a design for blower of grain tires it is necessary to know the resistance exerted by the grain bed to the air current blown through it so the major difference air resistance is mainly depends on the bed thickness as well as air velocity orientation of the grain which is nothing but the placement of grains as well as the type of grain so it's how the grain blade is to be used so it is major in thing in separation of grain so dust particles from the grains and the other is electric and dielectric properties so which is nothing but the conductance resistant capacitance on the moisture conductance of the food material so it used to indirectly determine the moisture constant of the agriculture produce so some other properties like dielectric constant loss tangent and dielectric factors and ac conductive or the dielectric properties uh, which are said to be taken in additional care of the agriculture produce so they are mainly influenced by the moisture content and frequency of these particular properties as these properties are said to be influenced by moisture content these properties are much exploited for the moisture determination in the agriculture commodities and the other thing or the thermal properties so the thermal properties uh, so final at last it is mainly involved in food processing operations of each and every agriculture commodities so while coming into knowledge of these thermal properties of food it is said to be essential and analysis and design of various food process and food processing equipments which is said to be involved in heat transfer with respect to heat transfer or energy use for exertion process like cooking drying sterilization and uh, some other properties so the these thermal properties in food processing such as specific heat capacity thermal conductivity and thermal diffusivity 
also to be taken in major care of importance in the agriculture engineering wants uh, as i already told you the dielectric properties also determine the food begin process with the electromagnetic energy so it is strongly influenced by the properties of frequency as well as which are where the microwave is subjected to the food uh, for heating process so if for example microwave oven where it is used for heating the food and the electric properties is as usual as the resistant conductance as well as electro productors of agro processing so they can be able to change the ability of the grain to store electrostatic pressure so the moisture content of the particular ability can be able to be considered so i have given the lecture notes in description so please come to the video and join us in the instagram page so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch up in next videos